top of the morning. And it is a beaut. And the hope of the Irish as the future champion of the world. A podcast is kind of like a, it's like a radio show that's not on the radio. Welcome to the Barry J. McDonald podcast. The place where dreams get dusted off and acted on. Because life is too short. We're living on a rock that's flying through space. And hey, what the hell else were you going to do with yourself here? Hi, this is Barry here, and you are very, very welcome to today's podcast episode. Now, today's podcast episode, I want to talk about finding yourself and creating yourself. Now, do you ever see sometimes maybe on a TV show or a movie, or maybe it's happened in your own life where you've seen somebody do this, where they say, well, I'm going to backpack, I'm going to travel around the world, and I'm going to go off and I'm going to find myself. Now, I used to always find that kind of a bit weird because, you know, the same you is going to be the same person that's going to be sitting in some cafe in Vietnam or it's going to be the same person that's in Brazil or Australia or in the Amazon forest, whatever it is. It's going to be the same you that's going to be in all those locations. So I used to always find it hard to you know understand that. How can you find yourself when it's you that's already there? Now, I know sometimes maybe some of these people would probably, you know, when they go off in the world and when they haven't got their friends or their family or people that they, you know, feel kind of obliged to obey, you know, sometimes they might let their hair down a little bit. They might go get a tattoo. They might go snorkeling. They might go maybe some kind of cliff diving or bungee jumping or something like that. And they'll do all these kind of crazy things when they're away. And it's in those moments when possibly maybe they'll find themselves. You know, they may find that, you know, they were far more courageous than they gave themselves credit for. You know, that huge bungee jump took a lot out of them. But afterwards, they feel, you know, exhilarated and they feel proud of themselves. And they realize, you know something, I'm a little bit more courageous than I thought I was. Or maybe they get over their their fear of swimming when they go snorkeling. Or, you know, maybe they throw themselves out of an airplane or they get a tattoo or, you know, all that kind of all those moments are probably moments when you do find a little bit about yourself that you know you're not as you know as untalented or scared or whatever in those moments and again it could be down to being in a completely different area not having all those people around you you know being surrounded by strangers where you're not afraid to you know perform or act or you know do a crazy thing because there's nobody around who's going to say to you well you know you shouldn't be doing that or you shouldn't be getting that tattoo or no you can't go on that airplane you know those people are maybe hundreds if not thousands of miles away so I suppose in those moments you know know you do relax a little bit and you do grow a little bit and you do find a little bit more about yourself now the reason I'm talking about finding yourself and creating yourself is something I was reading at the back of the great Randy Gage's book uh, Radical Rebirth and he mentioned in a comment um, I don't know if it was a throwaway comment but I had underlined it in the book where he said that you don't need to go off and find yourself that you can actually create yourself Now, that probably seems a little bit weird, but when you think about it, we do create ourselves every day. You know, as soon as you got up this morning, there was a script that you followed. You know, you picked up the script of being a parent or you picked up the script of being, you know, a 40 year old or a single mother or whatever. You picked up those those scripts and you ran with it during your day. You know, you followed all the actions that this 40 year old person would need to take or the single mother would need to take. So basically, we do create ourselves every day. You know, we do kind of sometimes those routines that we follow are a kind of a little bit a little bit of a script that we need to follow from morning to noon. So Randy would say that, you know, you don't need to go off on those long journeys. You don't need to do all those things that you can actually create yourself where you are right now. Again, it does make more sense because, you know, it's the same you that you're looking at no matter where you are in the world. So why not start with where you are with what you have? So what Randy would probably say is that you need to probably, you know, write down some affirmations, you know, positive thoughts, moments in your life that you'd like to change. Maybe that you would like to have a new job or you'd like to write a book or you'd like to launch a podcast or something like that. And actually write down in this kind of movie script the ideal version of you. You know, what would... Now, sometimes we can't think that far ahead. You know, we can't say, well, I'm never going to be an Elon Musk or I'm never going to be a Jeff Bezos. I'm not going to have those huge businesses or I'm never 
never going to be whatever sports star or whatever it is. They are just, you know, light years away from me. They're talented. Now, I'll never achieve all the things that they have achieved. But sometimes we can scale it back a little bit. You know, sometimes we can, as I've said before in this podcast, sometimes we can upgrade the software or the thinking that we have about ourselves. You know, to go from the plain 1.0 version of ourselves to maybe the 1.2 version of ourselves or maybe the 1.3 or could you maybe see yourself as being twice you know, twice the version that you are right now. Sometimes you might need to maybe, our thoughts probably won't allow us to stretch that far, that we don't believe that we'll ever write a book or that we'll ever run a marathon or that we'll ever throw ourselves out of an airplane or whatever. Sometimes you can't see yourselves that far ahead. But maybe to scale it back a little bit and maybe just to get a piece of paper today and write down and just think to yourself, you know something, I'm not happy with where I am right now. Where would be the ideal situation I would like to be in? You know, what weight would I like to be? Who are the people I would like to hang around with? You know, what would I like be doing? Like to be doing during my day, rather than maybe this nine to five job that I have. You know, would I like to be a blogger who travels all over the world? Would I like to be a podcaster who has, you know, who gets all these big celebrities on our show? Would you like to have a YouTube channel? What would you like to have? And just write down on a piece of paper, you know, what you would like to be. And then, as Randy would say, you know, read through that on a regular basis. You know, first thing in the morning, probably last thing at the night, because in those moments um, are probably the strongest when your mind is maybe trying to work out what you're going to do that day. You know, we have this thing in our mind called the reticular, uh, (laughs) I can't remember, the reticular activating system, I think it is. And what this system is, is it goes out and it finds information that we agree with or that we know. So, for example, probably the easiest, and you probably have heard it mentioned many times before, you know, it's when you buy a white car, suddenly you look around and all you can see is white cars. And you, you're thinking to yourself, did everybody go to a sale yesterday? Was there, was there a deal on white cars yesterday? Because everybody's driving them. Or maybe the make or model that you're driving, you know, you find that there's more versions of that on the road than you noticed before. And again, tomorrow, if you sold that white car and bought a black car, again, you would find more black cars on the road or you'd find more of that car model or whatever. Because our mind is, you know, it's seeking out information that we agree with or that we, you know, find, that we would need to find important. For example, maybe, you know, if you're maybe thinking to yourself, well, I'm trying to come up with a book idea. Where can I get a book idea? You know, and you're asking yourself that old question over and over again. Your mind is constantly looking for information. It's going to find maybe a new story out of the corner of your eye that's going to draw you in. That's going to give you that story for that book. Or maybe you're going to hear a conversation in a coffee shop where two people are talking and they mention something and you say to yourself, wow, that would be really great as a book. Now, that was because your mind was going out trying to seek information, trying to find those answers for you and also to find, you know, things that you agree with. You know, if you think that Donald Trump is uh, the worst thing that ever walked on the earth, your mind will go out there and it will seek all that information or whatever party you follow or whatever. But your mind is going to find that information for you and it's going to draw it back to you and it's going to give you moments where you can agree with it and say, yes, you know, I've seen that. That's why that's why he's a bad man or that's why he's done this or whatever, because your mind will find those things for you through that reticular system that we have. So by changing the script that you are reading first thing in the morning, you will find that your mind will go on a little bit of a different search. It'll go find moments where maybe you could maybe come up with a book idea or that maybe you could start a podcast. Maybe you haven't got much cash right now, but maybe your mind might find an idea of how you can do it through an app on a phone or you're going to hear a snippet of information or something on social media or a website is going to catch your eye because you're looking for different information and you're going to be acting differently too, going on the script that you you are telling yourself. So again, going back to finding yourself and creating yourself, you know, you can, if you want to, maybe go backpacking all over the world if you have the money and if you have the time. And if you don't have kids in tow, yeah, you probably could do that. But maybe it's better for, you know, if you don't have the cash, you don't have the freedom or whatever, it's probably a lot easier for you to start creating yourself, you know, thinking to yourself, what is a better version of me? What would I like to be doing? You know, what would I, what would make me feel better about myself? What would give me more confidence? You know, what would 
you know, what will be those things that when I go to bed at night time, I can say to myself, you know something, that was a really productive day. I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. You know, I'm making a difference in the world or I'm making a difference in people's lives. What will be those things that would do it for you? Now, all of us are different. All of us are unique. So whatever your list of things that you find will make you happy is your list. You know, don't copy anyone else's or try to be an Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos or all those different sports stars or whatever if that's not for you you know find what is your happy lane what makes you happy what would you know that you could look back on life and you say you know something I had a really great life I lived it well I did the things I wanted to do what would those things be and start writing them down on a page and read them first thing in the morning and read them just before you go to sleep so that your mind is working on that. And again, as I said, sometimes we think, well, you know, I can't I can't be that person. You know, that version of me is just light years away. I'll never be someone like that. But again, as I said, we can make small improvements. We can be the 1.1 version of ourselves or the 1.2. We can upgrade all that software in our head, all the kind of thought processes, all the programming, all the dreams and ideas. You know, where you are right now you know what if you upgraded the dreams or what if you upgraded you know the images you are looking at you know maybe cutting some pictures out of maybe a beautiful dress or someone in a beautiful figure or someone scoring a touchdown or someone driving a sports car that you would like to have and start putting those pictures around yourself so that you're looking at different images rather than the images that you have in your head right now you know what would the 1.2 version of you look at what would they read what would they do where would they hang out what would the one point version of you be like again what would they do and all those different things so give that some thought today instead of maybe going around the world and trying to find yourself how about creating yourself right where you are have a lovely day bye bye before you go Barry would like to give you a free copy of Words to Wealth in it he's going to show you 10 ways to make money from writing head on over to writecom.com now for your copy have a great day and come back soon